Hi guys, um, my name is Nithya Ruff, and I work for SanDisk's Open Source Strategy Office. So I basically run Open Source Strategy for SanDisk. Um, I am also a member of the Women of OpenStack at uh, the OpenStack Foundation. Uh, we've done a lot of things to create a more inclusive and trusted environment at OpenStack, and I'd like to share some of the things we're doing at this particular show. So one of the first questions one needs to ask is, why is the foundation supporting diversity and OpenStack? Because it's a good thing. It's a really good thing for innovation. Um, and I think you heard Jonathan talk about it this morning. It also creates very trusted and inclusive communities. So when you're innovating, you want diverse perspectives. You want people who are engaged, who feel they're valued. And uh, that's exactly what uh, creating an inclusive environment and valuing diversity does. This is not just diversity from a gender perspective, but it's diversity from years of experience at OpenStack. It could be uh, which country you're from. It could be coming from proprietary to open source. So it could be all kinds of diversity. And we do need to include new and underrepresented people in the project, because this is a project that really touches everybody around the world. And we need people's perspectives in this project. And last, uh, as, as I indicated before, uh, it's a global project. And so the OpenStack Foundation works very, very hard to include uh, people from all countries and to make sure that they're contributors, that they're valued and included in the project. So some of the elements of the OpenStack diversity program, this particular uh, event in Austin, are, are really amazing. Um, there really are two bodies in the OpenStack Foundation. One is called the Diversity Task Force, and it reports into the board. And they're responsible for making sure that we set the right code of conduct, the right tone of voice um, in the community, and that we are inclusive as a community. The second is a voluntary group of people called the Women of OpenStack. And we volunteer our time to make sure that uh, women and gender representation is uh, you know, increased in OpenStack, and that these women feel that there is a path to come on board, that there is a path of training, that they're valued, and that they're mentored, and that they're advocated. So there are about five or six programs that we've launched, particularly in Austin. I think we've done a really good job in Austin. One is onboarding and welcoming new members. The second is mentoring. The third is education and training, You know, looking at gaps, what do you need to be successful in OpenStack. And fourth is champions for change and advocates. This is working with leaders in OpenStack, men and women, uh, to become advocates and to become champions for change in OpenStack. And then metrics, measuring how are we doing. Because at the end of the day, it's the data that tells you whether we're making progress or not, and then how to stay connected uh, with the diversity task force at OpenStack. So from an onboarding and support perspective, um, there are travel support programs that are provided. Um, and as you can see, I've provided a URL here. You better sign up pretty quickly for Barcelona if you need support for travel, um, because it goes by really fast. For example, for Austin, February 9th was the deadline for uh, travel support. And then we organized a number of pre-summit receptions and also friendly faces breakfast this morning uh, to welcome people to the summit. Mentorship. So mentorship is extremely important. A lot of young and new people to OpenStack will tell you, um, I really need to know what the right way to do things is. How do I submit a patch? How do I um, you know, submit a blueprint? Uh, this is men, women, you know, people who have never done this before. Um, so what we did was we set up a mentoring committee, uh, community rather, and we asked people to volunteer to be mentors. And then we asked people who wanted to be a mentee. So we had more mentees than mentors. So um, my a call to action to all of you is, if you want to be a mentor, if you're good at OpenStack, this is a wonderful way to give back and to contribute. So please um, you know, consider becoming a mentor. Um, there will be a session on Thursday which says, how, do you, how can you be a good mentor? So please attend. Um, and we did a speed mentoring session this morning as well. Training. Um, there were three pieces of training we introduced this time. One is Upstream University, which, is, uh, which was Saturday and Sunday. Very intensive training for new programmers, new contributors to OpenStack to become uh, an Upstream contributor. So that was a really, really good program. A lot of people went through it. 
The second one was called command performance, presence actually, command presence. And this is, uh, you know, all of us have to deal with uh, delivering bad news for, uh, you know, providing information to our executives. And it's a very high pressure situation where you're interrupted, um, you're, you know, you, your people don't pay attention to you, and, and you still need to command the presence and also uh, deliver your news and, and control the situation. So this was a fantastic training organized by uh, Intel uh, for people who have to you know, develop that sense of presence in a meeting. And last but not the least, Git Garrett are often used, uh, as you all know, in OpenStack as well as in open source projects. So we wanted to provide training to those uh, you know, fundamental basic things that you need to know in order to become a good contributor. And this one is a championing change and being an advocate panel. Please feel free to attend. There's a, work, a workshop at noon tomorrow. And it is how you as a leader in OpenStack, men and women, we'd love to have more men at the session because men are the majority in open source as well as in OpenStack. And you can play a huge role in changing the environment around you to make it inclusive. Um, and so this is the workshop at 12 to 2 to do that. And then there's a diversity of innovation panel in the afternoon, uh, which will talk about how do you set the right tone, set the right environment for the organization and the community to become more inclusive. We'll also have a panel on Thursday on what does it mean to have full equality um, in OpenStack and in communities. Biturgia is one of my favorite companies. They do analytics on OpenStack. I think a lot of you may have seen their analytics every year they publish it. Um, they're doing a really good session on Thursday on diversity analytics. Uh, how, what is the trend line in terms of contributions from women in OpenStack? Um, what's the percentage of you know, commits from women? And uh, they, they'll share all kinds of really neat information on Thursday. So I highly recommend attending that. And you can follow them at, uh, at Biturgia. So you can stay connected. Um, there's, uh, on the OpenStack website, you'll find the mentoring and diversity uh, listed agenda. You can join the Women of OpenStack at the wiki that I've listed here. There's a LinkedIn mailing list, a LinkedIn group, as well as a mailing list. Volunteer for the next uh, you know, session uh, in Barcelona. Uh, also sponsor local OpenStack events. Invite a woman to speak. Invite someone new uh, to OpenStacks to speak. And, and I would highly recommend speaking at the uh, We Brown Bags here as well. Uh, it's a great way to get your message out. So thank you very much. And you can follow me also at Nithya Ruff. And I tweet a lot about open source, gender diversity, and other issues uh, related to storage as well. Thank you.